stretch. Now we got Harlan. He's mowing the lawn in the Royal Purple truck as well. So we are going two, three, and four wide already on lap number one. Oh, and no. two trucks real sideways. Oh, and we've got a truck up and over a big pirouette. That was a big wreck right now for the always evolving AE now number 75. And it's Jake Kostecki. He's not going nowhere in a hurry. He is uh, hoping he is still going to be up and going, but he is on a three-wheeler. Now, let us I'm hoping that that means Kostecki saying, hey, you know what, I, I am okay. Granted, he's young. He's only 17. You know, he's still a, a little bit robbery there. That was a wild crash, but no real crazy hard hits. You can see the cage there. Everything's intact. Everything's in good shape, except uh, now he is down to a three-wheeler. That was a wild ride right there for Kosecki. That's a lot of damage to this truck. I haven't seen a truck pull apart like that in a long, long time. And what a baptism of fire gives a thumbs up to the safety crew down here. And the Reds have come out. They warned about this going side by side through here in the driver's briefing this morning. Two trucks get together in midair. Nothing you can do about it there. And look at the way. And the wow. dude was lucky. He probably got a bit of damage to his truck too on the way through. But Dude. massive damage to Truck 75, the always evolving entry that we'd see Eric Davis in contact. Wow. With Hines, perhaps. Mid air. Oh, real wild ride there. Wait, I, I have seen every lap of this series. I have yet to see a truck come apart like that, but. It really doesn't matter what happened to the truck or how it happened. All that matters is that uh, Jake Kosecki is in good shape, and he's giving thumbs up, saying he's all right. And it, it looks like we're going to go into another replay here in just a moment. Really extreme, super ah, slow-mo. Contact with Melbourne. So it's Melbourne. He's clashed with midair, slowing it right down. And contact like magnets in the midair. Both of them sideways on their own. It looks like to me, both those trucks ran it in on the loud pedal a little too deep. They both unloaded the sidewalls of the tires and the suspension, everything unloaded together. They contacted and it looks like Jake, he got the short end of the stick on that deal. Travis Melbourne got the ride of his life, was able to hang on to it. And with that type of force coming down the ground, something has to give. Yeah. And uh, luckily, it, it did. The, the truck kind of, uh, kind of just started coming apart in Look different parts and pieces. Gardner has a front row spot. Says, oh, oh. "Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that's not me." But he'd be smiling anyway. No, he, he's always smiling. Look at oh, that, dude. Around, All those years of experience. Around, I believe what we're going into the third rollover already right now. Three, completing four, up in a pirouette. Look at Morris, look at the contact that's made. Oh, Morris gets it right in the driver's side window. Completing four, coming around, almost completing five. Super slow-mo. It's, it's almost a work of art right now as we see Jake in there for a wild ride. It's almost like as if a, uh, a, a lion was taking down a gazelle <laughs> with, with all the dirt and sand flying all over the place and the, the trucks going after him. The dude, he just gets out of it safely. Gartner gets out of it safely. Melbourne gets out of it safely. And Jake Kostecki. Look at the camera angles we have up. got here around today. This is phenomenal. That is incredible. That is the shot of the year. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That here is cool. On board with the dude. He's just a couple drivers back here. That's some exciting stuff. Just oh. listen to those trucks. And those big V8 motors just wide open. So watch them unfold in front here. We're riding with Paul Morris down into turn number one. So watch the two trucks ahead. You can see the can turquoise see and black truck. And they make contact. Now watch the dude. He's mid-air thinking about what's going to happen and just takes evasive action at the last second. Wow. Now look, looking at that, no one did anyone any harm. No one did anyone any wrong there. They're both those trucks. And, and, and keep in mind, folks, We've been we've been wanting to take that jump and the downhill jump as well and move them farther up yeah. the track. Uh, we we haven't gotten the stadium super trucks had not gotten the okay to do that. Robbie Gordon, myself, a few others. We wanted them further up so that they're hitting the trumps when they're straight. Um, so that now they're coming on it and the whole truck's loaded. The sidewall, the tires loaded, the suspension loaded, the chassis loaded. And uh, when you're coming around sideways, if you don't have that truck straight. It's going to unload the opposite direction. And that's what happened to uh, both competitors here with, uh, with poor Jake and the always evolving replay XD truck having the, the, the short end of the stick on it.